Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. A brand new arrival to Grace Fleming's 70 Mustang Mach 1, our first ever grabber green one. Oh, we've had a lot of these cars. I've never had a grabber green car. It's the original color code for this car, which makes it uh, even more valuable. And this is fresh out of the restoration, comes with lots of receipts, all kinds of stuff. Everything's been done. It's been barely driven since it was restored. Uh, so uh, you may have a couple bugs to sort out along the way, but uh, that might be the extent of it. But anyway, let's take a check uh, here for like the quality of the paint. We like to talk about that first. Like check this out. You can read all the letters nice and clear. All right, you can see what time it is. Make sure that you're looking at these pictures online that you can see those kinds of things from those people because pictures do not tell the whole story. And the reason I'm telling you that is because I buy cars all the time and they send me pictures of the cars and the cars show up here and they're not even close. So uh, I say to you, check it out. This right here, I like the blacked out treatment with the stripes on it. All new bumpers, stainless, grill, lights, Magnum 500s, BF Goodrich radial TAs. This one has disc brakes on it. You can't see them because they're behind the wheel there, but they're all brand new too. Uh, and everything's kind of like uh, just redone on it. Got the front and rear spoilers. It's got the rear window louvers. I love louvers. Louvers are like one of those 70s things. I'd probably get myself one of those big suits with a big giant lapel, so then I'll be staying alive, staying alive. But I gotta tell you, I love those. Anyway, enough of my rambling. Let's take a peek under the hood and we can see some of the detail here. Real 351 Cleveland car, beautifully detailed. And this is nice too. Decals are in place, stickers are in place. It's not really modified. I believe we have a battery topper for it. Um, just didn't get time to put it on yet, but uh, it comes with the car. We'll put it on there just to make sure it looks really nice because this kind of car deserves it. This is the real deal car. It's got the right motor in it, the right transmission. It's the correct color for the car. It has some great options. It comes with a Marty report. You know, part of determining what makes a car uh, going to be valuable later on and that's what makes this hobby so much fun is that you can own these cars they don't cost a gazillion gadrillion dollars to get one because a lot of times they go up in value so like for instance like this right here so you're buying a car we talked about the restoration but like this one here is an original grabber green paint car right okay keep in mind it's one of only 887 built now when you think about that there's 200,000 of these things of these mustangs built maybe even 300,000 i'm not sure the exact count of mustangs for this year but the fact is, this is one of less than a thousand. How many are left? How many are like this? And how many are restored? Uh, this is how you do well with these kind of cars. These are the kind of cars that escalate faster than the mixed up um, cars. And I don't know, on top of it, I think the colors are smoking handsome. And when you go down the road, like this is one of those in your face colors that uh, uh, the seventies was so cool about. I love hood locks especially one-handed hood locks. So uh, here we are on the back. Like, I love these taillights here. Like if you're, even if you're a Chevy guy, you can't not like the Mach 1. I mean, you can, but you know what? You're just being a hater at that point, drinking way too much Haterade because this is a great looking car. And for behind, the Mach 1 here with the wing, the louvers, this honeycomb trim, uh, the right exhaust tips with the right balance panel and the backup lights down there. All of this stuff is new. That's why it looks so shiny. It looks really great. Great gas cap. Okay, and let's just see if they went far enough and detailed the rest of the car. Okay, now I'm gonna show you something that's kind of interesting that the trunk lid here, it has the proper springs in it, which means it probably came from the factory with, uh, with the go wing on it, uh, the rear wing, because it's staying up. And the reason I say that is because the wing is heavy. If you don't have the right springs from the factory or you've ordered the right springs when you're restoring the car, uh, the trunk lid will not stay up by itself. I only show that to you because those are some of the detail stuff that a lot of people overlook, all right? The mat in here, correct. The tartan weave, as they call it. It's got a space saver tire with a jack, with an inflator bottle. And even right here, if you went to go ahead and took this, like let's say you decided you wanted to take the tail light out yourself, and let's say you got called away to a meeting in uh, another country and had to come back, you would know that this goes in the right-hand side because the sticker's still on there, huh? Is that amazing? You know, I just made all that up, but anyway, it sounded really cool, I thought. All right, as we check out the restoration of these cars, you know, we looked at the detail stuff, like the chrome trim outside, the new paint, the detailed trunk, um, all the polished stainless out there, the power disc brakes, the power steering. Now let's move inside here for a second. One of the things that's important during the restoration is does the footwell lighting work? And the reason I say that is, you know, after 40 years, not all this stuff works. 
In this case here, the person that restored this car uh, did a great job uh, doing that. Kevin Doyle restored this car and did a nice job uh, detailing all these things to make sure he put a lot of sweat equity into it, and we appreciate that uh, effort that he put in. Sounds nice when you close the door. All the gauges are crystal clear here, which is really nice, and you're getting full gauges. You're not getting just lights. You're getting your uh, temperature gauge. You're getting oil pressure. You're getting an alternator. 120 mile an hour speedometer, right? All of this is brand new, the console, the shift selector chrome, original AM FM stereo in here, the heater controls with new cables, uh, and this right here, and this is the other thing that nobody ever does, clock is working, which is very nice because that means to me, somebody definitely put the effort in there. Door lights work to let people see the foot well down there outside so when they open the door they can see when they're getting out. It's just a great, great car. I like this wheel, I love this wheel. This is a rim blow steering wheel, so the horn is not here. Most of you, you know, some of you will know it, some of you won't, but anyway, the horn is actually on the inside here, and so when you're driving, if you needed to honk the horn, you'd, you'd just squeeze it like that. You don't have to take your hand off and do that, you just. So we close up the video on this real deal grabber green car and uh, you know we have nice restoration receipts we have uh, detail that we walked around this has a lot of the paint line uh, uh, chalk markings and things like that as the car went down the assembly line stickers are in the right place it's detailed and it's uh, and more importantly than all of that uh, it's authentic it's a real deal car the way it rolled off the showroom floor and uh, and that's the way you get uh, yourself a muscle car that should appreciate in value over time. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000 and we'll tell you all about it.